Kanye West and the Swifties are at war. It was inevitable. It was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen. This was always meant to happen. This was always meant to take place. Kanye West and the Swifties were always going to eventually meet head to head on the internet. And it happened this year. 2024 has been an eventful year. It started off with that crazy dude jumping over the desk and attacking the judge. And it's been pure entertainment ever since. Look at this. One of the Swifties goes on Twitter. And for some reason, apparently Kanye West uses Twitter in light mode. Y'all that still use Twitter in light mode, y'all are weird. Y'all don't use Twitter in dark mode? I, I use Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, everything in dark mode, bro. I cannot use it in light mode. The Swifty says this. Her name is apparently Audrey or whatever. She says, Swifty emergency. Red light, red light, red light. Beyonce's new single, Texas Hold'em, is challenging Kanye West for a number. Why she put a skull emoji? Why she put a skull and bones emoji? Are they threatening to kill Kanye? Beyonce's new single, Texas Hold'em, is challenging Kanye West for a number one debut in the Billboard Hot 100. Let's buy and stream Texas Hold'em to block him from the top spot, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Remember, in all capital letters, he just dragged, in all capital letters, Taylor on his latest Instagram story, angry emoji, uh, warning emoji, warning emoji. So, you know, the Swifties, they're young a lot of them are young. I, I don't want to. I, I want to hope that the more aggressive Swifties aren't older. I want to. I want to believe that the, like the the crazy Swifties are young kids, right? This person is trying to rouse up and rally up the Swifty mafia because they're not an army. They're more like like a mobs, like a like a mob. They're more like a mafia kind of organization, right? More like thuggish. She's trying to rally them up to derail Kanye's return with Vultures One. So here's what Kanye said in response. Now, me, I'm an OVO guy. I'm more of a Drake kind of guy. This is all just entertainment for me. I'm just watching this from a distance, getting my laughs in, being entertained, because frankly, I'm not much of a yay guy. I'm not much of a Taylor guy. I'm just more of an OVO kind of guy. Kanye West says this. When I said that I'm the new Jesus, bitch, I wasn't even thinking about Taylor Swift. That was a whole line before, but I appreciate the free promo. Lil Wayne actually mentions Travis Kelsey on Vultures too. This album is actually super positive and fun. It's all about triumphant. Last year was incredibly challenging for me, my wife, my children, friends, and family. I've been banned from hotels, kicked out of companies, and not even allowed to eat in some restaurants. Everyone saw Vultures 1 get taken off of platforms to limit our week, our first week numbers. This reminds me of the mistreatment of my people because of the color of our skin. <laughs> okay. Kanye, I gotta stop you. Kanye Amari West, the reason why you've been banned from hotels kicked out of companies and not allowed to eat at some restaurants is not because you're black, okay? It's happening because you spent 2023 shitting on Jewish people. You attacked an entire race of people like through like the like the light the latter half of 2023. Of course you got banned from hotels, kicked out of companies and not allowed to eat in restaurants. People are scared of being associated with you. People don't want their brands associated with you. You spent half of 2023 attacking an entire race of people. You didn't get banned from these places because you're black. You didn't get removed from these venues because you're black. You weren't banned from these restaurants because you're black. It's because you spent your half, your later half of 2023 attacking Jewish people. Why you did that, I don't know. I'm not sure. Was it the later half of 2023 or the early part of 2023? I think it was like the earlier part. You spent 2023 wildin' racially. Just racially just wildin'. To even make it seem like any of this happened to you because you're black, Kanye, is crazy. And this is why, bro, I be saying, like, Kanye's never gonna get it together because Kanye always finds excuses, always finds reasons to not hold himself accountable. He actually believes in his head. And this is a smart individual. Kanye is not dumb. He knows why. This man actually believes in his head it's because he's black. And he's coming on Twitter and saying it's because he's black. But let's go further, right? Kanye goes on to say this. Remember, I was on Taylor's side when Scooter bought her masters behind her back. She and Beyonce are big inspirations to all musicians. We always say how both sell out tours and movies. Also, I'm sure I've been far more helpful to Taylor Swift's career than harmful. To all Taylor Swift fans, I am not your enemy. Um, I'm not your friend either, though, LOL. Also, I didn't get kicked out of the Super Bowl. We left our seats to go to YG's box and see different friends. 
My wife had never been to a Super Bowl, so I wanted to walk around and have a nice time. We had such a fun day. Oh, and to Shaq, I grew up looking up to you, and I would love to hang out with you and Jamie sometime. Jamie Salter is like a father figure to me. The media may control the narrative, but the people have spoken. So the Swifties have managed to bring an entire Instagram rant out of Kanye West, which is impressive in and of itself. Only a few people have been able to get this kind of reaction out of Kanye. And the Swifties have earned that place. The Swifties have gotten up in that position. My only concern with Kanye is Kanye still seems to believe in his head that the consequences he faced in 2023 are because he's black or because he's Kanye. Everything but taking accountability for the fact that like, bro, you spent 2023 shitting on an entire race of people. On some level, you do eventually have to take accountability for what you did. Like you can't actually believe in your head that somehow or another what you did has nothing to do with how you've been treated. You weaponized your fame, your power, success, and authority against the entire Jewish community. Now, here's my thing. I don't have a problem with Kanye West saying what he wants to say. I'm a free speech advocate. My issue with what Kanye said was the fact that Kanye refused to actually single out any specific people that he was mad at and instead decided to throw every Jewish person over, like, under the bus. And that, to me, was problematic, because I'm looking at it like, bro, if, you know, I'm a black man. I know there's a lot of stuff going on in the black community that people could use against me. I wouldn't like it if a powerful, well-liked celebrity, like, what, shit, maybe, look, if Taylor Swift woke up tomorrow and was ranting about black people the way Kanye was ranting about Jews, I would be concerned. I would be upset. I would be worried for my safety because we got someone who's powerful and influential demonizing an entire race of people with no care or concern for who's affected and how. That was my issue with Kanye West's behavior. But now Kanye's back. He dropped Vultures 1. I haven't listened to it yet. I'm still, you know, absorbing for all the dogs. Um, But it seems like Kanye's back. It seems like he's here to stay. I'm not sure what else he's going to be up to this year. I'm sure this year is probably going to be very, very eventful for Kanye West. Um, But he's back. He dropped Vultures 1. The Swifties are at war with him and trying to derail his return. He's declaring that he's not enemies or friends with the Swifties. And frankly, I thought that was hilarious. So he said, I'm not your friend, but I'm not your... He said, I'm not your enemy, but I'm not your friend either. LOL. (laughs) Kanye's funny as fuck. Not gonna lie. Yeah, Kanye's funny, so we'll see we'll see what happens. Interesting news that the Swifties and Kanye West are are are, uh butting heads and the Swifties have declared war on Kanye West. But he's saying, look, we don't I don't want no problems with y'all. Which I would say too, if the Swifties ever came at me, I would immediately like put out a statement saying, I do not want any problems with y'all. Like, stop, please. So I get it, bro. Even Kanye West has to make sure the Swifties understand, like, bro, I don't want problems with y'all. But it is what it is. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.